What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is T. Louise for those of you that don't know and if you do know and you're returning, what's poppin'? How are you? So welcome back to another installment of Tea Talks with T. Louise. I'm T. Louise, of course. And this week I wanted to talk to you guys about something that is super near and dear to my heart and that is using your gifts well, okay? So this past week I got to sing a part of my church's um, worship team on Wednesday night and I got to sing like a little solo in the song I sang the bridge and I'll insert footage here singing it kind of made me think about something that's happened to me in my past and I want to share with you guys so when I was a sophomore was I a sophomore when this happened mom when God took my voice away a junior a junior okay so when I was a junior in high school um, I became very prideful um, I knew that I could sing. I knew that people were just drawn to me and my voice and um, my teachers, um, the faculty, the staff, the kids all around me, like everybody just like praised me, it felt like. Um, and going from being a, a kid that was super insecure, that didn't feel like she was anything or was gonna amount to anything, um, feeling like I was just hiding in somebody's shadow, not even knowing whose shadow it was. Um, when you get that type of attention and notoriety, you don't really know how to use it properly. And um, I did not use it well at all. Um, I remember we were on television. We would go to different comp singing competitions. We would win, we would do really well, you know? And even in all of that, I would somehow stand out. Um, and that's, you know, going back to God has just always given me favor, but still in that, I did not know how to handle that well. Um, and so towards the end of my junior year, you know, I had done all the drama club, glee club, music, choir, orchestra, band, you know, all that different type of stuff. But towards the end of that year, um, randomly, my voice just goes out and if you know me, you know I'm always singing, I'm always humming. My mom, 
My mom will literally be like, are you coming? Is that you whistling? Is that you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm always doing something musical. Um, and for a long while, and I don't even know how long it was. It was may maybe a couple of months, but I was not able to sing like a, a lick of anything. Like I would go to try to sing and like it would just sound awful. And because it sounded awful, I obviously wouldn't do it. And so I'm like, what is the difference? Like why randomly? Am I not able to sing? What is going on? And I remember the feeling of, I, I want to say it was God telling me, you know, like, because of your pride, I had to take your voice away. Um, but back then, I wasn't as spiritually sound as I should have been. So maybe he said that, and I was just like too busy in my own little world, you know, to, to, to realize. But ultimately, I did realize, okay, I am extremely prideful. And at the time, you know, I thought that I was just living my, my truest self, and I was just... You know, no, I'm not prideful. People are just like always doing X, Y, and Z to me and da, da 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 And I would try to find ways to excuse myself and different things like that, but that is not the case. Uh, that was not the case. You know, I had grown to be prideful and I had grown to thinking that it was me, 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 and my voice, my voice, my voice, and my ability, my ability, my ability. And that is not at all the truth, right? I got my voice from the Lord. He gifted it to me. He let me borrow it um, for his glory, for his purpose. You know what I'm saying? I had lost sight of the, the main focus, which is to serve others and to please God. Um, and so that brings me to the scripture that I want to read for you all today. It is 1 Peter 4 verse 10, and I'm reading out of the NLT version, and it says, God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. And um, I just want to encourage somebody who, you know, is dealing with their gifts. Um, you know, going back to this past Wednesday night, getting to sing and getting to be used of God. I don't take it lightly now. Um, I literally keep in the forefront of my mind, God literally taking my voice away, my singing ability. My singing used to be my identity. I mean, you can ask anyone from my past. You can ask my mom. You can ask my siblings, like legit. That used to be my identity. I wanted to be known as the singing girl or the girl that could sing or the girl that could really do it well. And ultimately, I lost sight that I actually should just want to be a child of the King. I actually should just want to be a woman of God. I actually should just want to serve others and serve them well. And now I offer up my gift back up to Christ. So when people, you know, give me accolades or praise me, or say that you're doing so great, or that was amazing, or da 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 da. The way in which I receive that compliment now is so different because I realize that without Christ, without Him blessing me with this ability, without Him gifting me this ability, or even just allowing me to borrow it, okay, it's on loan. Um, you know, I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't be who I am, I wouldn't have the favor without Him, and I want Him to use this gift to whatever capacity he sees fit for it to be used. Um, and so reading the scripture, you know, it says that God has given each of us a gift. You may not know your gift or you may know your gift. And I want to literally encourage you, don't live life based off of what you think you can do for yourself. Literally allow the king to be the head of your household to be the head of how you move or how you interact or how you work or how you walk how you talk even we have to make sure that God is in everything so that not only will God gift us with gifts but he will teach us how to serve others and to use them well um, using them well to me now looks like offering up praises right back to him when I'm getting, you know, a compliment or whatever the case may be. Um, 
and being realistic you know remembering my why why do I want to sing why do I want to be a part of this ministry why do I want to do X Y and Z well I want more souls to be saved and I want more souls added into the kingdom of God and you know I want my story my testimony my light to shine ever so brightly that somebody who looks like me or doesn't look like me who relates to my story or doesn't relate to my story to be like if she can do it I can do it too I want it to be like a domino effect you know I want people to be able to look at me and find something that they can either relate to or just admire from whether afar or or close up and you know take heed and literally live out this thing. We are literally living in the last days and I know we've heard that saying for such a long time, but honestly, Maranatha, the Lord really is coming back. The the things that we are experiencing now, the sicknesses, the diseases, the, the shortness of days, I cannot believe that it is literally November the 11th. Like, that's that's wild. Absolutely why why is it already December? Like why is it already 2023? I work for surgeons, um, doctors at a hospital here in St. Louis, and literally we are already booking into 2023. Like they have appointments set for 2023. That is wild. That's wild to think about. Um also tonight we went to go see Wakanda Forever. Um or yeah, it was called Wakanda Forever. We went to go see the second Black Panther and it was just so crazy like realizing that T'Challa, Chadwick Boseman is really not here. Like he has really passed on and that just puts life into so much perspective. Like we do not need to waste our days, waste our energy, waste our time trying to be something we are not, trying to be someone we are not, trying to puff ourselves up. God is honestly and coming back and ultimately coming back for his bride. And I want to be a part of that number that is going up with him. I want to be a part of that number that helped, you know, bring souls that is on this earth to heaven. You know, I want jewels in my crown and through literally sacrificing myself or dumbing myself down or making myself less so that God can be the more is what's going to get us, what's going to help me. Um, and so I implore you to do the same. I implore you to look within yourself and ask yourself, am I, can I change in an area? Can I respond to certain things differently? Can I make myself a little lesser so that God can be more? Um, we will all, you know, struggle. We will all even face adversity, but we definitely can and will do it. I was just talking to my mom and this is the last point before I wrap it up, but I was just talking to my mom. Um, there's a scripture that talks about how in the last days men are going to be lovers of themselves and to be very transparent and vulnerable. You know, we are in the self-love era and it's all about me and I'm choosing peace and I'm da 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 and me 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 and I I I I and yeah I got caught up in that a little bit you know I I definitely made it to where oh my gosh this is for Tia this is what Tia thinks this is how Tia feels da 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 yeah da 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 and it's like yo you gotta relax you know God is going to take care of you regardless. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to worry about, is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? Where is it going to come from? Like God is going to take care of you. Do not get wrapped up in this lover of self mentality. Don't worry about it. Literally give it all up to God. And so I had to be honest with my mom and be like, you know, I got to I gotta draw back a little bit, you know? I don't want to love myself so much that I puff myself up way too crazy and then guess what <laughs> what's that what's the scripture say pride comes yes and, and then that scripture that says pride goes before destruction and haughtiness before a fall Ooh. first off the fact that it has to be like pride goes before destruction let's break that down so pride is going to go before whatever is broken and then haughtiness before a fall so there's two levels. 
You can literally just be broken and then get back up. Or you can be so stubborn and stuck in your nasty ways that you actually have to fall and then you have to get back up again. Bro, I don't, I don't have the time for that. So yes, love yourself. Yes, put certain things you know, I'm not telling you not to take care of yourself mentally or, you know, to create safe boundaries for yourself. 1000%. Please do that, you know, respectfully. But when it comes to the kingdom of God, there has to be some type of balance, you know. I can't self-love, self-love, self-love. And then I'm also like, but I, and I'm better than you. And you're not this. And I'm up here. And you're down there. You know what I'm saying? Like, those don't coincide, okay? So, Love yourself enough to keep yourself in check and be like, you know what? I remember that scripture that talks about pride before destruction and then haughtiness before the fall. I don't want to fall. I'm torn down. I don't want to be broken. Okay? I don't want to be caught out here looking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because I couldn't get my, my flesh under control. I couldn't get my pride under submission. Um, so, yeah. I wanted to leave you guys with that today for this week's tea talk sorry it is coming late i'm gonna try to make these on thursdays this week was just honestly really crazy and busy i had a lot to do with my doctors so i wanted to record this on a lunch break during the week and it didn't happen so here i am recording this friday night i'll try to get this up so fast um for you guys but literally just remember that you can and you will as long as you try and God does not withhold any good thing from you. So in the moments of doubt, in the moments of fear, in the moments of thinking you're not doing enough or you're not doing it good enough or whatever the case may be, just remember that God will never withhold any good thing from you. So if it is good for you, you're to have it. And if you don't have it, that means that it is not good for you at the time or in general. And I would trust the one who made it all. So, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is T. Louise. If you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. At 500 subscribers, I am doing a giveaway. I would so love to do a giveaway before the end of the year, just so it can kind of feel like a Christmas gift for me to one of you. So, please tell a friend to tell a friend. Get us to 500 subscribers. I love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful beautiful week. You guys are amazing. And remember to hashtag stay humble. Bye. Cause I'm royalty. He says I'm royalty.